All right, so just to start, my name is Gaurav Madan, and before the slides come up, what I would like to do is just give you a quick little introduction about me. So I started back in 2012. Everybody, can can you get seated, please? That's what's settled up. All set up. Okay. So I started back in 2012 with my first blog, which was GaurabBuzz.info. And how many of you have not started with AdSense in your career? All right. Yeah. So back in 2012, I discovered AdSense 2 with my first blog. And the way I was doing it was, you know, I was just a kid, of course, a college doing that. And I was trying to drive traffic from one of the websites which is called omegle.com to my blog so that people could go and you know click on the banner so that I could make more money. So I still remember at that time, um, you know, within three days I made hundred dollars and then I was very excited and we did a party. And then uh, the very next day I got an email from people from Google saying your account has been terminated. Right? So we've been there, right? We've all been there. So that's how my journey got started in 2012. Post that, uh, I got intrigued by it because there was a lot of potential in it, of course. So I said, let's explore this particular thing further, internet marketing. And I went ahead and I started one more blog. So in 2013, I started the blog named Geekotech, which is now one of my companies, of course. And uh, I did a lot of tech blogging at that time. So Learning and learning from blogging, uh, I further went ahead and uh, you know started working as a trainer in the ASIM Daily School of Internet Marketing. I trained more than 3,000 plus professionals in the field of digital marketing. Uh, these guys were you know entrepreneurs, startup owners, business owners, students, working professionals who were looking for promotions in this particular field. So that's how I got started with training. And then I also had the opportunity to do consulting, consulted a lot of businesses. Then further ventured into affiliate marketing, discovered rather JP Zoo for the first time in 2016 uh, by the through, through Luke Clay. So if anybody knows Luke Peerfly, so Luke Peerfly had a blog. So I discovered JP Zoo via him and then we started doing JP Zoo. So for the most part, in, we formulated two companies, Kiko Marketing and Hyman. So uh, ventured into product launches in 2017, we did first one with Jay and we've been doing a couple of them after that. So in mid-2018, you know, this one is really important. In mid-2018, we have a very big mindset shift. Specifically, you know, I was getting irritated by doing the same thing over and over again. So we have had a talk about it from ways of the speakers as well that you get, you know, kind of looking for the next big thing. So we, that is the point where I said I don't really want to do a lot of launches. And I started seeing that products which I've created are assets. The products which I've created so far are assets. So I need to look them as assets instead of looking them as just the next thing which is lying on the shelf. Right? So I converted my funnels into evergreen funnels for continuous leads and sales. So that's what I did. So what's the most important thing in online business? If I may ask? Traffic. Traffic, okay. Sales. Conversions. Conversions, okay. Most important things in online business. But next, anything else? Leads. Leads. Yeah, leads. So let's go. So there are only two things which are important. It's leads and sales. Nothing fancy. Leads and sales. That's what's right the video, right? So the sales are the simple steps which I have been actually able to do to, to actually turn my own simple funnels into evergreen funnels. And this is just, just a blueprint for you. And it's absolutely simple. Anybody can do it. If I can, absolutely anybody can. Because I'm the most laziest marketer on planet Earth. <laughs> okay. So first thing first, make a lead magnet. Second, make a freebie funnel. Have an opt-in page. Okay, then generate leads and then nurture them via your blog and your community. As simple, and then you can promote the products which you have with you, right? Or you can promote other people's products. 
So let me ask you another question. What is important? Product or audience? I think both. Audience? And what about the product creators here? Product can be created later? Okay. So both are actually very, very important. But if you are an affiliate marketer, then for you, of course, um, you know, what is important is audience. Okay. Whereas if you're a vendor, then both the things would matter. Okay. So for me, I, I was doing a lot of affiliate marketing, so I thought why not build audience, you know, first, because that is the major trouble which we have. You know, all of you will be saying we don't have an email list. I don't have this, I don't have that. So what I did is I built a simple school. This is, you know, a part of the same. This is a case study. School map. Yeah, there. So if you see, this is the most simplest page you'll see, but I have done a little tweak in this page, um, which is the next step, of course, but it says learn social media marketing for free by Claudio and Rosh. Right? And it's just very simple uh, image with some pointers. Let's move forward. So I say it's forty-seven dollars normally, but today you're getting it for free. Okay. And then this is the ad which I have been running to drive traffic to this page for the last two years, more than two years now. So this ad, this ad has been running since September 2017. And if you see the ad, sort of was asking about what's the most important part in the ads, right? So for me, it is this is the most important part is showing the journey of a person. Maybe you know if you can show the results, just let me back the ads. Yeah. This is the ad. If you see this is a very, very amazing ad where the person is being showcased from getting to a beggar from a beggar to a, to a businessman and with the help of this particular SML course. And there is absolutely nothing fancy about it. But this ad, gosh, this this works like a beast. Okay, so now the tweet which I did, once somebody clicks on the page and says, you know, go get your lead magnet for free, he's redirected to a checkout page. Now, instead of an opt-in page, which generally people would, you know, send, give them an email opt-in stuff, will we send them, send it to a checkout page where there's a coupon auto apply? So automatically, the person has a you know, uh, think that of, okay, this is an actual checkout page. I'm getting it for free here, right? So the person is actually giving their right email ID instead of actually, you know, which we face a lot of bogus email ID spam traps and hard boxes and everything. So this is one of the most important factors. If you're doing lead generation funnels, please use a card page instead of actually using a normal opt-in thing, right? As soon as the person opts in, uh, nothing fancy again. He is sent a set of emails wherein we, you know, this is called an indoctrination series. If you may have heard of, it just says gets gets in the introduction. And in the introduction, what is a tweak which I'm doing generally is to increase. This is a very good hack to increase your open rates and click through rates. In the very first email, what should you should do is you should ask them to reply back to you. So if you ask them to reply back to you, which I get a lot of replies every single day, so your email reputation is going to go high. And if your email reputation goes high, of course, your open rates, click rates, and your revenue goes high. Right? So these are the results so far, uh, which I have been able to do. You can see there is like 41,170 orders. Okay, from this simple funnel, which is an every funnel, let's scroll further. And uh, so, so these are the results since morning. So actually this has changed. We've generated 600 leads today for this one. Okay. So, so guys, this is good. Something which we set up in September 2017, giving me 500 or 600 leads a day in October 2019 as well. Sound interesting? Yes. Want to do it? Yes. Just follow that and do it, all right? So next thing which I do is, I go ahead and I put them uh, in the source sequence by saying, okay, I'm sending them an invite to come and join my group. So this is a group which is Digital Marketing VIPs on Facebook, which I run. And we have close to 15,000 members right there towards the bottom right, if you're able to see. So again, the reason why we are actually sending them to this group, as we have been already discussing, because of multiple touch points. 
okay you you have to go ahead and make sure that you are doing multiple touch points and not just email because emailing would only get you to 15% or 20% max of your audience but how do you maximize that right how do you get to 100% of your audience or if not 100 let's say even an extra 10% right and I'm telling you the power of groups is humongous, it's huge. Alright, so please make sure that you're building communities around your brands or around yourself, if you yourself as a brand. Okay, so these are some of the results. If you should see from Facebook ads, uh, the ad has been shown to approximately 1.8 million people and uh, the cost per lead is somewhere around 15 rupees, which is, uh, you know, one fourth of a dollar. Okay, so now the amazing part about this ad account right now, this ad account is super old now. So we we have our pixel is so mature that we are able to run ads and generate leads and sales at zero targeting. So how many of you have struggled with targeting? Targeting, you know, which interests you target? Should I target apps or should I target new potatoes? What's the examiner? Now the pixel gets so mature. If the pixel has enough emails. That you target nobody, you just target a country and let it run. No localize, no interest. Even if you want to let through the age group, you can. And the pixel will work for you. So that's the power of these funnels. If you're going to run it for a longer duration of time, it goes more heavily back. Yeah. 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 So these are a couple of uh, things which I would like to tell you about this campaign. So what I did when I started in targeting, we, we targeted Neil Patel and Social Media Examiner. Pretty basic, somebody who's looking to learn digital marketing, you know, or social media marketing, simple. Then after 1500 leads, as soon as we got 1500 events, we made a lookalike. Then we split, split tested the lookalikes with age groups from 18 to 24, 25 to 34 and then so on and then ultimately the last stage is if your pixel is mature enough you go ahead with zero target all right so the the goal is to go and get sales with zero targeting so a lot of my students as well have been doing e-commerce now with zero targeting because the pixel has matured over a period of time of course okay that's that's actually crazy imagine you doing a option product with no targeting, uh, because this is a niche wise, your pixel is so mature, Facebook finds the bias for you. Alright, and then if you want to scale further, you expand to other traffic platforms like you could expand to YouTube, Google AdWords, uh, search platform, Bing, PPC, and other formats as well. Okay, that's good. So, so far, what I've explained is the most simplest funnel which we've been running since September 2017 and it has that single ad which you saw uh, turned me into an influencer in our country. Okay, so if you want to run that in your country, you're, you're welcome to and perhaps you can also be an influencer just one simple, with one simple ad. Okay, just you have to run it long enough, nothing else. Okay, so um, how many of you have scaled your products after the launches? One, two, and I, I think we. Uh, how many people are launching here? How do launches? A right. lot of them, right? So, uh, would like to see a case study where I show you how. We have scaled one of our launches to Evergreen product. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Sure? Yes. Still very little sound. So are you sure? Yes. All right. So this is a bonus case study. And if you don't get louder enough this time, I'm not going to show it to you. <laughs> yes. All right. So there is a simple requirement to do this. Okay, if you, this is about scaling, this is not about actually doing it from scratch. So scaling means your product, you've already done a product launch and you have buyers. So the first condition is you should have 1500 front-end unit sales. Okay, 
1500 final units you should have sold and second condition is your final conversion should be more than 20 percent okay that's a basic requirement for using this particular method to scale your launches or your products so now let's go further as soon as you have this so this is these are the steps again a little small blueprint which you can see uh, you know you start by making a lookalike audience that's the first step make a lookalike and what kind of lookalike worldwide lookalike you don't have, a, have to make a country specific lookalike audience make a worldwide lookalike audience and then second thing is which is interesting i have mentioned here install chat a chat plugin okay and a toll free number on your website toll free number you just have to flash it of course you don't have to install anything and the reason why you have to do this is because with cold traffic there is going to be a lot of objections and if you are not doing a two-way communication to know those objections, it's not going to be possible to actually optimize your sales pages and your ads and your copy. Okay? So a two-way communication is absolutely must when you're doing running cold traffic. So install that and then you start your ads with as little as let's say $30 a day, not much, put it in a very small amount, and you'll start seeing the results because you have already made a logo like and you don't have to make anything fancy in the advertisement mention the most important benefit point in big capital letters on a square ad okay nothing fancy the biggest benefit which you make and then you could do a copy headline could be taken from the sales page of course right and then the next part once you start seeing some conversions you convert your ads to CBUs. Anybody heard about CBU? Campaign budget optimization. So what you're doing is now you're spending your budget on the campaign level instead of ad set level. Okay? So that is called campaign budget optimization. So now let me show you. Let's go further. So this is one of our CBUs of Stop Nation. If uh, is it visible? No. No? Let me read it for you. So, it ha the ad has been shown to 2.2 million people. The CPM is close to $24. Frequency is 3.69. There has been 17,000 link clicks and there has been um, 2,189 purchases with an average, uh, average acquisition cost of $25. Okay, so that's one of the ads and the total spend is right here, $56,000 from 15, 10, 2019 to 13 October. So this is one of the CBOs. Now, interesting part about CBOs is, let's go further. So what I'm doing with my CBOs is, I'm doing a very simple targeting, okay? And the simple targeting is, I'm doing worldwide minus Asia minus Africa. So it's worldwide, all English speaking, countries mostly, but minus Asia and minus Africa, specifically. And these ads are targeted to 35 plus males, specifically. Okay, now right, right here I gave you the entire campaign, if you actually know the value of this targeting. Okay, so now I in my campaign, generally the, the value of CBOs is, when you do ad set budgeting, uh, you generally, you know, fifty dollars a day, hundred dollars a day. As soon as you go to hundred fifty, maybe your ad set would just die. As soon as you increase the budget of your ad set, it would just die, off, right? So what you need to do is you need to use CBO for that reason. Because if I'm running my campaign right now at let's say hundred dollars, tomorrow I can run it for thousand. Day after I can run it for ten thousand, and that too with a positive ROI. So that's the level of scale, like it's not a curve, bell curve like that, but rather it's a jump. It's a true jump and without affecting your results. Getting too boring, too technical? It's fun. Oh, it's interesting. It's, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> For people who have not run uh, Facebook ads, I think so this may be a little bit jumpy and pausy. But just understand that there is CDOs to be used, just, uh, you know, Make sure you're using CPOs instead of normal campaigns. Okay, so I did five ad sets and uh, I flashed out four of them. So it is only one campaign, one ad set, 
and primarily one ad and we're doing like positive ROI even with testing this with $3,000 a day budget is okay so that's that's the power of uh, you know CDOs campaign budget optimization and even you should do remarketing with CDOs it's pretty immense when you do remarketing with CDOs it, it actually and that too with you know a little bit of manual bidding if you're outbidding everybody else only your advertisement is going to be shown to everybody nobody else nobody else advertisement will be shown to them okay because it's free marketing one and second you're outbidding everybody for impressions let's move further so these are some of the results now if you could see from Jan 1st to October 13th, this particular uh, you know, ad campaign has a $129,000 in gross revenue. But that's not the ultimate revenue because uh, we also have, let's move forward, we also have in-app upsells. So in-app upgrades are also contributing to the revenue. Let's move further. So we also have one more. So it's, it's the ROI is tremendous, okay? So what I'm trying to show you here is you're missing out on a lot of revenue, like literally a lot of revenue, and this is upfront revenue by the way. Okay, so how? let's not even get into the fact that with 2,000 buyers, you know, what you can do with affiliate marketing, right? So here are the things which you need to be aware of while scaling your powers. One, if it is a good product, it would be profitable upfront. Okay, if your ads are not converting, that that definitely you know you need to check out your product for strong with preposition or strong with the angle. Okay, and chat and toll free numbers are going to help you and assist you with that. You can simply use Twilio to get a toll free number for two dollars a month, which gets redirected to any number of your choice. Right. It's really simple. And next thing, you know, uh, what you need to do is you have to make a backend funnel to increase your lifetime value. Even coming, like, before coming to the second point, I saw, uh, I heard Sid mentioning that they were having options with two price points. That cold audiences are getting confused that whether to choose for commercial rights or not. So what we did is we just added that particular option instead of two pricing. We added that as a bump. So if your checkout platform allows a bump, it automatically clears the confusion. There is just one license and you do ten dollars for extra commercial license. And we also have chat system installed on the checkout page. Now a lot of people would advise against it, but that has tremendously helped to increase conversions. Because if the person is getting confused that what is a commercial license, we, we explain it to them. Pretty simple, right? So, second thing is make a backend funnel. Now, when I say backend funnel, there could be various types of backend funnels. You could do, you know, webinars like Paul is doing, right? Or what you can do is what we also do. Uh, second part, the products which we have, which have converted well for us in the past for this particular set of buyers, which is top edition. Okay, we would take their products, reach out to the to the vendors of those products, and set up evergreen pages and put it as an auto response. It's as simple as that. Something which has worked for you in the past, why do you want to work again and again and again and keep finding new ones? What is work will set again to the new buyers? It's as simple as that, right? So you see what, what are the products which have done well for your list? Because you're getting the buyers for the same product, right? They're the same psychology. So you put them in the back end funnel and you drip that or your sequences. In, in gaps of maybe a week or two weeks, depending on what your own schedule and preference, okay, and you make more money. So we have been able to get the CPAs as low as twenty-five dollars. Our average, uh, average, you know, upfront value of the customer is seventy-two dollars, okay, and uh, that's already profitable to be honest with. But if you want to make more profits and be more profitable and sustainable for long run, you do the backing part. This is very important. And then the third part, this is something really, really advanced. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if you will know about this. You can surf your CDOs. Anybody knows about surfing CDOs? Okay, so what a surf means is 
you need to go ahead and you uh, you know you start let's say you're starting your campaign with a thousand dollar budget okay you're going ahead and now going at 8 a.m. to your campaign and checking whether your campaign is profitable or not if your campaign is profitable you make the budget two thousand dollars okay this is an everyday thing then you go back at 12 noon and you check again whether your campaign is profitable or not so if I know your campaign is profitable you make the budget to four thousand dollars now then you go back again at 4 p.m. and you check whether your campaign is profitable or not if it is profitable you make the campaign budget to eight thousand dollars okay and then so on and if as soon as if it starts making losses you just stop the campaign and you restart next day the same cycle at thousand dollars so that is called surfing and unlike ad sets you know CPOs don't work the same way ad sets you increase your budget you know your algorithm gets disturbed and then your performance will get lower nothing like that with CDOs CPOs are crazy crazy with scaling so you can literally scale any campaign from $1,000 to $10,000 in a day okay you just have to keep a measure of the ROI let's go back let's go back so there is something which I would like to suggest now imagine you doing all these work every day manually versus automating so you can also automate these rules to check for losses in your campaigns and you can do it with the help of automated rules on Facebook aware of that? Yes. so you can do that with the help of automated rules on Facebook or you can use reveal bot so last time I checked automated rules natively on Facebook does not allow to serve CPOs they would only let you serve ad sets but now with the reveal board, definitely that's a possibility you can go and do CPO surfing. Okay? So this is specifically for scaling, guys. This is specifically for scaling. Now let's move further and let's talk about any of the questions you may have. Yeah, I think uh, what I was gonna ask you was uh, I saw your Facebook group, right? And decided to put digital marketing VIPs or something like that. What was the reason for not branding it? your name as opposed to putting a name on it and can you explain some strategies that you're using that you feel are unique uh, that you learned recently that you're really cool for growing your Facebook group? That'd be great. So we are definitely using a brand name as well. It says, uh, you know, group by Gaurav Manan and Roshni Dhan. And the name of the group is specifically Digital Marketing VIPs. The reason, that's one of the strategies in itself. That people, when people go on Facebook and say, learn digital marketing. I grow pops up. That's exactly what I was. Yeah. That's one of the strategies. Okay, to grow the group. Second thing which we are doing is we are pumping in a lot, lot of leads every single day, fresh leads from just like we shot uh, today. We did like 600 leads, 700 leads. All those people are sent an invite to join the group. So every single day we are pumping in more blood to the group. Okay, that adds a lead. Third thing which we can do is we do viral contests. Okay, now I have not seen anybody in the industry doing a viral contest apart from Wilco, of course, because he has a tool, he does it. But then, other than that, I hardly see anybody doing a viral contest. So, we've done multiple viral contests, and right now, even right now, there is a contest running on, which is actually contributing to the multiple channel strategy. Like, people come in, people opt in. Okay, now the contest is you have to get more referrals. If you get more referrals, you get all our courses for free, the top five. And there are certain steps which you can do to maximize your points. Those steps are very simple. Follow us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, join our Facebook. So again, a multi-channel strategy is going there to increase the growth. Right? 